Most people know that muscles contract to allow us to move. However, few know how this contraction actually occurs. In this video, we will be learning about how muscles contract on a cellular level. We will also learn how muscle contraction plays a role in rigor mortis. The signal travels down the motor neuron into the axon terminal. Here, neurotransmitters are released to carry the signal past the synapse and to the receptor cell on the sarcolemma. Once the signal is received, the action potential travels down the sarcolemma through the T-tubule. When the action potential reaches the receptor indicated by the blue pipe cleaner, the signal is carried through the sarcoplasm into the sarcoplasmic reticulum. This signal causes the release of calcium, which is indicated by the white bead. When calcium is released, it travels through the sarcoplasm to the actin. Here, it connects to the troponin to change the configuration of the actin slightly. This change is that the tropomyosin no longer covers the active sites on the actin. At the same time that this occurs, ATP comes in at the myosin to move the myosin heads to their high energy configuration. As the active sites on the actin are no longer covered by the tropomyosin, a cross bridge is formed between the myosin head and the actin. The power stroke then occurs where the myosin heads return to their low energy configuration, pulling the actin along with it. This shortens the sarcomere as the Z line comes closer to the M line. ATP then comes in again to detach the actin from the myosin. The calcium then leaves the troponin and the tropomyosin covers the active sites once again. ATP is then used in active transport to bring the calcium back into the sarcoplasmic reticulum. When a person dies, their body stops producing ATP. The ATP that has already been produced by the muscle cells is then used up by the myosin heads in order to move them to the high energy configuration. Since there is no ATP left in the cell, active transport of calcium into the sarcoplasm reticulum ceases to occur, causing a release of calcium ions. The calcium then binds with the troponin, which causes the tropomyosin to move, exposing the active site. This causes a cross bridge to form. The power stroke then occurs and causes the muscle to contract. However, since there is no ATP left to break the cross bridge, the muscle cannot relax. This lack of ATP and release of calcium causes rigor mortis. Thanks for watching. We hope you learned a lot about muscle contraction.